Bud got his hands on the record, I think, start of the week. He did. And has taken to it like a duck to water. Spud, what have you seen Look, in the footy record this week? It's a great article by Ashley Brown. A uh, very good writer, yep. Ashley. And uh, it's on page 78, but the opening page gives you a little bit of a, an insight. Well, what are you saying? They've buried it later in the edition? Buried it later, but got the, the man, uh, the, the own wolf, at uh, 78. And I thought, mm. yeah, I'll quickly get to that. And yep. There's a lot of words there, but there's, there's actually... <laughs> Generally what happens in an article, yeah, there, but there's, there are words written. There's 10 pictures. And I yeah. to oh, right. Probably spend more time on the pictures, pictures? probably. Yeah. But there's a couple of things <laughs> there. No, no, there's a couple, there's a couple <laughs> really good things. the article, just looked at the No, pictures. no, there's a couple of really good things in the article. Uh, the Michael holding a football raves Danny Frawley. Well, what does that mean, Spud? Yeah, no, well, that's means... the fascinating thing in this whole article. How did you work your way into it? <laughs> But I'm not to go. I go straight to someone. Mate, as you notice in all articles, the first person mentioned is me. He, that's a, it's but what a does Michael major. Holding mean, Spud? It means very athletic yeah. and, and does it with ease. Oh, oh you right, mean fuzzy right. wuzzy hair. No, no. Both pube of hair. But, uh, <laughs> but it, it just had, had, had plenty, plenty of time. Plenty of space mm. and actually... I, don't, I still don't get that. Yeah, well, yeah, anyway. I don't think it's your best. <laughs> Please <laughs> explain it. Also, Frawley remembers Lions an unbelievable captain. He was a great motivator. Very lippy. You were that. <laughs> and more importantly, always back it up with actions, which he did. And, and look, he's got his last game there. So don't That's just a... focus on your bit. <laughs> <laughs> what about the articles, bud? Yeah, the article's about Gary kicking 10 goals in 1994. Now... For those guys in Australia, (laughs) Gary Lyon in 1994 versus the first semi-final versus Footscray, kick 10, that's right, he kicked 10 for those people driving your car or in the garden, we know, everyone knows, but no, every year, first week of the finals, we have to read this again, Gary is the last way to kick Sandra Sully with the late news, Brownie. We, we have to shovel it out of the room every year. This boys, remember, Ben Gold. Who was the last one? Oh, yeah, it was you guys. Two and a half quarters. Anyway, you've got to do a last shot there with Ben, Tom and Josh. Oh, that was an outstanding part of your last game. Very emotional. <laughs> Very emotional. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a look. There's a, another. Oh. There's ten photos. There's one there of him holding up a photo of himself. Yes. Photoshopped. And uh, it says here, our ball use was great, and blokes were hitting me on the chest, <laughs> which to me means you were playing on witches' hats. <laughs> if you had ten marks on your chest, who'd you play on? <laughs> Sixteen marks, actually. See, knows that Cyrus is not Danny Galway. Five on you, Spud. But look, there was a couple of photos. That the one. The one in uh, page 80, if you get the record down in <laughs> the magazine, it's probably sold out, guys, but sold out. Tell you what, uh, sold out. he's got the hands in the pockets, whiskey looking one. over the 50 metre rockers yes. behind the goals. That's where I'd done all my best work <laughs> and just <laughs> let in and <laughs> like got on the angle <laughs> <laughs> like a porno. <laughs> and just sort of looking down the lens to say, yeah, you got it right. <laughs> Ten big ones the G Lion this day. This is my ground. My turf. And I tell you what, get off the ground, photographer, you're lucky to be with me. But then I go to the, the first photo on page 78, mate. Still going. Real wanker stuff. Real cockhead. Collar up. Look, looking down the camera. See, I told you, ten big ones, and that is it. Have a look at me, real cocky, smarmy, squinting down the lens with red golden hand in pocket turn. Yes, bring it out again, I've got ten. (laughs) And that brings me to this one. (laughs) On the back of Desperate Demon. Don't you love you? had Jim Gate and Warrior Walk. We were getting a boy on for a boy, but to our grand final day, when I go there, there's <laughs> ten blows. <laughs> ten for each photo, mate. All ten. Right. Uh, no, not bad. Give me the. I want to read something. Oh, no. I'll tell you right now. All I did was, um, yeah, so I'd have a chat to a man, and how it's dressed up's not up to me. But anyway, this is what I found interesting. Oh no. As I read about it. Real wanker stuff. 
I was only joking. Just... <laughs> no, you no, no, I loved it. They, they, they oh, talked no. about coaching at one stage, oh, right? Oh, come on. So you, whether you, you'd go and coach, and I thought, oh, yeah, they should so mention Tim Watson. And then, <laughs> then in my article, <laughs> yes. in my article, <laughs> my eight-pager, this is Spud. <laughs> He saw me go half man, <laughs> lose my personality, and my hair teeth starts crazing himself. Fucking <laughs> abuse, talking <laughs> about his own coaching <laughs> career. <laughs> Can't at least give me an article to be self I just thought I'd slip a couple in. Just <laughs> <laughs> 2001, just sort of. <laughs> it's a relic, but I just sort of oh, no. scratch the dust hey, off. You it. can't oh, go you. and 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 bomb someone's oh, article I'll with your you. own stuff. Very good, very funny, but no, funny. good article. Purple, I'll yep. tell you what happened to me today. I got in the lift at uh, the hotel, and these two blokes were in there from Sydney. Rugby league fans, uh, they, don't, they said to me, Jim, we don't know much about the AFL. We love the footy show Thursday night, but they say when we tune in on, at midday on a Saturday, and this is a, like he would have been in his late 50s, he said to listen to you four idiots were his words. He's he right said, there. I have never heard anything like it in my life. From Sydney. From Sydney, they said we just absolutely love it. We listen even when we're up there online. So this is what they bring.